welcome to today's instruction video in what you can do with little bits and uh, what are we going to build today? Today we're going to make a catapult. Okay, so what do you need? Uh, well, first off, let's see which little bits we need. We start with a battery. Then we take a sound trigger. And the last one is a servo. Mm -hmm. So, which, put do I, which parts do I put together? Well, to let's also with. mention all the other things we oh, need. Okay, yeah. We also need a spoon, some cardboard, a scissor, and some tape. Okay. Can I put together it now? Yes. Okay, so where do I start? You start with the battery. Uh huh. And then you take the, connect it with the sound uh, trigger. This one? Yeah. Oh, uh, needs to be connected this way. Of course. Uh huh. And then it's this part, I guess. And then the servo is last. Uh huh. And then I need to switch it on, I guess, yep. on the power little bit, like that. Go. Cool. Okay. What are these other buttons that are on these things, except for the power button? Yeah. Uh, well, you can see on the sound trigger, it has a little uh, screw there where you can adjust the sensitivity. So you can adjust, OK, at what uh, sound level is this going to send a signal? Uh, and then on the servo, you will find a little button uh, where you can switch between swing and turn. If it's on swing, the servo, the motor, uh, will just go forward and backwards all the time as long as it gets a signal. Uh, but if you put it on turn, it will go to a certain position when, when you send a signal, and it goes to another position when you don't send a signal. And that's the one we want in this case. So put it on turn. Okay. Um, so when we make a sound now, it should do something. Yeah. Ah, okay. Exactly. So now to building the actual catapult arm. Mm -hmm. Then we need the spoon and all the other stuff we have. Uh, and basically, you're going to attach the spoon to the servo, so we get a nice arm to throw stuff with. And to make this move a bit faster, we're going to cheat and take the one that we already prepared. So you can see over here, we have the servo and the spoon taped onto it. And then I added just a little piece of cardboard to make the whole thing more stable. Okay, so let's take this away then. Oh, there we go. And actually, you can use the tape as well to make it a bit more heavy. Okay, so what should we shoot? Um, I don't know. Maybe some little bit? Yeah, good idea. Should we aim it at the cameraman? Yeah. This time, we're gonna get him. Yeah. <laughs> Almost good enough. Yeah. So that's how you build a catapult with the 